name is Heather Zaromsky and I'm a member of the Nixa Board of Education with your March board meeting recap. To start off the meeting, High Point Elementary highlighted their Wonder Lab. Since the school's population has doubled in the last 15 years, the school has developed creative ways to meet the needs of the students. The Wonder Lab focuses on hands-on learning and STEM activities. You can see the videos on our social media channels. Brenda Rams gave an update on the finances and the fact that the district was going to receive an additional $150,000 in funding from FEMA for the SB Tornado Safe Room. The board received an update on the APR report and how Nixet was in the top 2.5% in the state of Missouri and was the highest scoring district in the Springfield Metro. This is the first year of the new rating system and the district is learning how the state is scoring based on the new model and how we as a school district can do better. Jeremy McCoy, the new Assistant Activities Director for the district beginning in the fall, gave an update on the strategic plan for activities and athletics program that will be implemented over the next three years to expand and offer more opportunities for students, as well as how they can improve their current programs and offer additional professional development for coaches and sponsors. John Thomas School of Discovery was recognized for being named a model professional learning community at work. They are one of only 500 schools and districts in the U.S. and Canada to have ever received this honor. The Nixa High School Girls and Boys Wrestling programs were also highlighted for their successful seasons. The enrollment report showed we were at 6,726 students, which is 74 students over the same point last year. During the consent agenda, we paid the bills, reviewed and approved employment updates, updated job descriptions, and approved grant applications. President Linda Doherty gave an update on various activities around the district in the coming weeks. She also talked about how states around us are giving teachers raises, but Missouri hasn't made any moves to increase teacher pay. I provided an update on events that I've been participating in through the Missouri School Boards Association. I was able to highlight some of the activities that have been occurring regarding legislation and their impact on NICSA and public education. To keep up to date on school board information, as well as upcoming meetings, go to www.nixapublicschools.net backslash school board.